Hi everyone, so we're back and today we're looking at the periodic table for the first 20 element. You're going to be learning how to draw the periodic table and how to label everything on the periodic table so that when you're given a question on elements, compound and mysteries, you can just draw your periodic table somewhere and then you're not suffering finding the valency, whether it's metal or non-metal or semi-metal or anything. So this is your first step in drawing the periodic table. You first have to draw something looking like a rectangle. Then you separate it into nine equal parts. So one, well they don't have to be equal, but just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you separate here to be four. One, two, three, four. And then when you're done, you just make your group one, group two, three, then you leave the space after the 3 and come 4, 5, 6, 7, then 8 to 10. You can choose to put the 3 and 4 together. You can choose to make a group 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or uh, 6, then 7, then 8, 9, 10. But it will make your work more neat when you leave some space afterwards. Then, so here's going to be the group 1 and here is going to be period 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, before we start, let me first explain what the periodic table is. So, we say the periodic table is an arrangement of elements according to their increase in atomic number, such that those with the same chemical properties are placed in a vertical column called the group. So, those with the same chemical properties are placed in a vertical column called the group, and those with horizontal arrangement are called the period. Wait, so those with the vertical column are called the group, that is this one, this is the group, and the horizontal arrangement are called the period. So those in group 1 have the same chemical properties, those who are going to be in group 2 have the same chemical properties, those who are going to be in group 3 also have the same chemical properties, as well as all the other groups. So we say that... The elements in group 1 are called alkali metals, then those in group 2 are called alkali earth metals. Those in group 7 are called halogens, and those in group 8 are called noble gases. Well, we say group 8 to 10, but you can just choose to say group 8. So those in group 8 are called noble gases, then the, for the first 20 elements, boron, carbon, and silicon are called metalloid. Well, before you understand that, I think it will be best if we start drawing it so that it will help you to understand it better. So for the first one, we have hydrogen. Hydrogen, we're going to put it here. And then we're going to put helium here. So hydrogen, helium is going to be here. Helium. So after you write hydrogen, you, we are arranging it. So we have hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, chlorine, phosphorus, sulfur, sorry, sulfur, chlorine, argon, potassium, calcium. So you first, you arrange them as you say it, from the first to the last. So hydrogen is the first, helium is the second. So hydrogen, helium, and then you continue. Lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine. Then it, it continues in that order. So hydrogen is going to be here. Helium is going to be here. And then we come to lithium. Then beryllium. Then boron. Then this is the space. There's nothing here. Boron, carbon. Nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, then we have sodium, magnesium, aluminium, space, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, then chlorine, argon, potassium, and calcium. So you can see that when we left the space, it has made our work look much neater. So 
this is how you're going to group your periodic table. The first one is going to be your so hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen. So it's only going to be hydrogen here, then helium there. Then lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, ni um, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine in that order. So always remember when you have hydrogen here, you're not going to put helium here, you're going to put it here. And the rest are going to follow in a horizontal order. So now we have to write their atomic number so that it's going to help us in finding the valence electrons or the atomic number. It's simple. You don't have to think at all. All you have to do is just put 1, 2, 3 in front of each of them. So you just started with helium and then you move to um, hydrogen, then you move to helium. So you just put 1 here. This was the first one. This was the second. So 1, 2, then you come 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then you continue for all of them. So you put it there for all of them. So you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it means that hydrogen has an atomic number of 1, helium has an atomic number of 2, lithium 3, beryllium 4, boron 5, carbon 6, and ongoing. So when you want to find it, it's that simple. So this is basically all about periodic table. Now we say that the most reactive metals are the group 1 element, hydrogen, lithium, sodium, and potassium. These are the most reactive metals, and the most reactive non-metals are the halogens. And remember I said the halogens are the group 7 elements, so fluorine and chlorine. These are the halogens, and then alkali metals are the group 1 element, then alkali earth metals are the group 2 element. So this is where we'll be ending for today. This is how to draw the periodic table. I hope this was very useful to you if you are confused about the periodic table and you didn't know how to draw it. But the periodic table is going to help you to be able to find the valence electrons. So for example, 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, lithium, beryllium. It has helped you so that you know the atomic number and the valence electrons. So thank you for staying tuned. We'll continue next time. Well, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It's very important that you like and subscribe to my videos if you enjoyed them. So until another video, I am out.